Isn't this cool? It's a mini billboard uh, given to me by the good folks at Clear Channel Outdoor. We just did a deal with them for several billboards. We're promoting a show right now. So the life-size uh, version of these billboards are up right now. <laughs> Fun stuff. Also show you what else I got. Very cool. It's a poster. Can you hear me? Hey, I'm Michael C. Anthony and welcome to another free video within Stage Hypnosis University. This one is cool, very content rich. And it's when I go on location before a show, when we're setting up a show, and I show you exactly what I'm looking at, what I see, any concerns, any safety, whatever things are going on. This section, and they're scattered throughout Stage Hypnosis University, is called the MCA Cam. MCA, Michael C. Anthony, Cam, camera. You'll always know that we're within an MCA section when you see this blinking icon. And we understand that the MCA Cam the quality of this section isn't always 100%. We're not striving for that because it's just something. We're setting up a show and I see something and I say, hey, I'm going to record this for the students so they can see what I see and I can go over what I go on. We cover many different types of stages scattered throughout the program within the MCA camp. So let's take a trip now to New York City. Let's go. Hey, Michael C. Anthony here, Stage Hypnosis University, stagehypnosisuniversity.com. Welcome to another MCA CAM edition of the program. I want to show you tonight's theater. Tonight's theater is at the Skirball Center, uh, downtown New York City, right here in Manhattan. And it's a great room. Let me show you this. There we go. Beautiful room. Seats, I'm guessing, between... 800 and a thousand beautiful lights perfect sound the technicians know exactly what they're doing here this is actually my favorite type of room to play and that's primarily because it's not too big it's possible to have a room that's too big two nights ago i played to 3500 people it's actually closer to 4000 it was in a coliseum it's off a little bit <laughs> <laughs> and as the temperatures continue to drop lower, we're down to 65 degrees. <laughs> Continuing to get cooler. Dropping lower to 50 degrees. Goosebumps developing on your arms and your legs. The temperatures continue to decline even further. A great show. Uh, great energy in the room. But to be perfectly honest, this type of room here captures the essence of the show. Uh, it's intimate enough and it's large enough that uh, the, the audience is connected to the volunteers on the stage and it makes for a really, really fun show. I was actually the first person ever to perform in this theater when they opened it a few years ago. I didn't get credit for it though. I guess I was a dry run because Billy Crystal played here the next week and he was the inaugural act for the show. Uh, for this theater, but that's all good. It doesn't matter to me. There we go, great room. Um, a lot of Comedy Central specials are filmed here. If you've seen Comedy Central specials, look for these great big pillars. Next time you're watching a Comedy Central special, one on this side too, you'll see that they haven't set up for my show yet. They'll be doing that soon enough, I would imagine. I saw some chairs back here. Uh, 
there's not enough there, but I'm sure they've got plenty of chairs elsewhere. You see this curtain here. There's all kinds of room in the back to make for a fun, active show where people are mobile, moving all around the place. They'll be closing these curtains here. They'll be closing those at some point, and I'll be playing in front of those. Uh, so let's look at the front row here. One quick thing I want to mention. See how close the front row of chairs are the, to the uh, front of the stage? Remember I talked about in the program front row syndrome. That's when the people who are sitting very near the front, front few rows, have a friend that has decided to go up onto the stage. So one of the people leaves the area in the front and comes up on the stage. Now sometimes there's some difficulty because these people here are laughing so hysterically at a friend up there that it makes it difficult for this friend to concentrate or there's a connection to the, from the person on the stage to the people here. Now remember uh, what I said in the program, you want to take the person up here if they're having any kind of difficulty, move them to one of the extreme chairs, left or right or standing, as far away as you can get them from the people here. Safety concerns on this stage, not many because it's a big, beautiful stage. As with any show, the front lip, never let people near the edge of the stage. If, if somebody went off the stage, which has never happened, if somebody went off the stage here, they would literally land in somebody's lap. Okay. Now, one thing I've noticed here is a small, you can see the volunteers will come up these steps here. And with this theater, and with many high-end theaters, they'll have a policy where volunteers can't simply uh, come running from wherever they are and jump onto the stage. They do demand that people take steps. Uh, and that's fine. I'll remind them of that right before they come on. But small area of concern right here where there's another little step uh, that isn't very high at all, so it's a potential tripping point. Okay, so I'll talk about that before uh, I get the volunteers up here. So big, beautiful stage here tonight. Uh, two packed out shows coming up. Looking forward to it. Shows are going to start in about four hours from now. And that's the Skirball Center. I'm Michael C. Anthony from Stage Hypnosis University, stagehypnosisuniversity.com. See ya.